schools, welcome to your February chapel hosted by the kindergartners. This month's service project, our students will write encouraging letters to children in our or orphanage in Africa. Our hope is that they become pen pals and write to each other the remainder of the school year. Our February prayer project will focus on prayers on less fortunate children. Please help your students to ind individually lift up these children to the Lord in prayer. We know that this selfless prayer will bless your family. This month's memory verse is, and a prayer offered in faith will make the sick people well. The Lord will praise him up, James 5.15. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today we're going to be starting on a new series of videos all about the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah, so the fruit of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And today we're going to be talking about love. So when I say fruit of the Spirit, what I'm talking about is in the Bible, it says that we should bear good fruit. We should bear the fruit of the Spirit. So if you see an apple tree, you know it's an apple tree because of the apples in it. So if you see a Christian, if you see someone who is following God and they have the Holy Spirit inside of them, then you should be able to see the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit. So the fruit of an apple tree is apples, and the fruit of a Christian, the fruit of someone who has the Holy Spirit dwelling inside them is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And today we're talking about love. Now love is tricky. Love is interesting because it's really hard to define. You know, we say love about all kinds of things. You know, I'll say, I love my dog Roscoe. I'll say, I love God. I'll say, I love my friends. I'll say, I love cheese puffs. You know, and I'll even say, you know, like sometimes people say I'm in love, although I don't get that because of cooties, you know, but but the love is all over the place and, and it's it's hard to pin down. If you look up in the dictionary, if you look for love, you'll find a definition there and, and that definition will kind of start to cover what love is, but it's not the whole picture. And the Bible is absolutely filled with love. There's all sorts of love in the Bible. The Bible talks a lot about love. Love is very important to God. Actually, the Bible says that God is love. You know, the two greatest commandments are to, first of all, to love God. And because of our love for God, we are to love other people. But, you know, actually one of my favorite definitions of love is, is in a verse, well, a, a couple of verses in the Bible. And you hear this a lot at like um, weddings and stuff. And it was such a good definition that I wanted to memorize it and try to, and try to hide it in my heart so that I can know what love is. And so this verse is, it's in 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 through like a little bit of verse 8. And I've been trying to memorize it. I'm not super good at memorizing, so you're going to have to forgive me if I, if I get it a little bit wrong. But here's, here's what it says. It says, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. Love is not proud. Love does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And so if we want to have the fruit of the Spirit, if we want to have the fruit of love in our lives, then that verse should be describing us. You know, it should be Douglas is patient, Douglas is kind, Douglas does not envy, Douglas does not boast. And so on and so on and so on. But I got to be honest with you, that that doesn't usually define me. That's not usually what I am. I want to be that. I want to have so much love in my life that it, it overflows to others. People can see God's love in me. People can see the love of God through me. And you know, the Bible says that God is love. So if we are going to be like God, if we're Christians, you know, that means like people who are trying to be like Christ. If we're trying to be like Christ, then then we need more love love in our lives. Now, saying God is love does not mean that love is God, okay? So it doesn't mean that if you love something, then that's from God. You know, like there, I'm sure there's somebody who loves throwing bricks at people. God does not love that. That's not real love. But the more and more we are like Christ, the more love is going to be flowing out of us. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would show God's love to other people, that, that you would bear the fruit of love. So that when people look at you, they see God's love.